everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer, oh, out of breath, get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Guys, remember if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That's right guys, I am back from vacation. I had a good skiing trip. I went to Washington State and skied, and then I went up into Canada, and I skied for a couple days there as well. Didn't fall, well, I fell, but I didn't have any major falls, so it was a good trip. We are back in the big machine shed today. We're cleaning it out in the back. Dad's been working in here for the past several days by himself, so let's see what he's up to. What happened to all the corn, Dad? connection in the back came loose again so I got it now going. If we can get this all cleaned up today it'd be nice. Disappearing fast. We got about a grain cart full maybe left in here. Let's get it cleaned up. tractor i'm running some corn over to the wagon and then up to the hopper bottom grain tank so it's starting to snow i'm going to wait for the wagon to run empty and i better clean the wagon out and clean up the mess around the auger so we're trying to get the big machine shed cleaned out today and i don't think it's supposed to snow very hard but it just makes stuff sticky so i'm kind of in the mood right now get things refilled up for tomorrow close up the machine shed doors and call it a day i'll probably actually go down and work in the shop see what we can get tore up down there Just about got the big machine shed completely cleaned out. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get some lunch. You want black olives, Dad? No, no, stuff to kill you. <laughs> oh, hey, look, you didn't put it down the last eight inches. Typical Dad. In the last scene, we were out there, but now we're in the house. So we got a call last night from my grandma saying my grandpa John was in the hospital. Apparently, he has pneumonia and influenza B. Not exactly the best combination when you have COPD. So we called it a little early last night and decided to go visit him in the hospital. So there's still about 100 bushels of corn left in the big machine shed that needs to be cleaned out. But other than that, everything in there is completely clean. Well, clean of corn that is. Still pretty dusty in there. And that brings me to what I've been doing today. So basically ever since harvest got over, we've just been hauling corn. So my dad's been hauling corn. I've been working on a lot of YouTube stuff. I've been putting together different video ideas. I've been doing a lot of editing. 
Just basically a lot of sitting in front of the computer writing my brain away. The other thing we've been doing is getting all of our book work ready for the farm. At the beginning of the year, we meet up with our bankers and we set up a budget for the farm. We use this budget so the bank knows how much money we're planning on borrowing throughout the year for our operating note. Now I know there are some farms out there that can run on a completely cash basis. And I know some people watching this video may think it's silly that we borrow money in order to farm, but our farm is simply not in the financial position where it can run on a cash only basis. And the debt we are incurring through running an operating note isn't necessarily bad. There are thousands of businesses all over the world that run on an operating note. As far as I'm concerned, a large majority of businesses, big or small, all around the world use debt to help their business. It can be a very valuable tool if you understand what you're doing with it. But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video, so we'll just kind of push that to the side. So I've been sitting right here in front of this computer today with Neva. In this binder here, I have all the canceled checks from the past 12 months. Basically what's in here is all the money that's gone into the farm in the past year and all the money that's gone out of the farm in the past year. So I take all that information in here and I categorize it into about 25 different groups. And I take all that information and I put it on my computer. So I built an Excel model on my computer where I have everything formula in so it does automatic calculations for me. I just have to know which group to put it into. I know a lot of people in the past have suggested that I use a different program to put all our bookwork in but honestly I kind of like this one because I can customize it any way I want and it works really well for me. Now bookwork is definitely not the most exciting part about farming but it's something that's very important. A business cannot run efficiently if it doesn't know where it stands financially. So by keeping track of all this information we're able to know how our farm is doing at any given moment. As farmers and business owners we want to make sure we have our ducks in a line so that way we're not doing some silly spending on money that we don't have and then we're able to use money that we do have and put it into places Places where it's going to be the most impactful for the future of the farm. So everyone remembers Neva, right? Say hi, Neva. Hi. <laughs> so I've been teaching Neva how to do the bookwork that I just showed you guys. So, so far, Neva, what do you think? I think it's good. You have a good little system here. It's very organized, very efficient. I really like it. Now, for those of you who don't know, Neva has lived in the city her entire life, so she is brand new to the farm. Now that you're seeing kind of behind the scenes on the books, is there anything that's kind of blown your mind on some stuff? Farmers aren't as rich as I thought. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's very expensive. <laughs> it blows my mind. It's a lot of money. There's a lot more that goes into all of this than I expected. What do you mean by that? Well, there's just a lot more things that I didn't realize you had to keep note of. Like... Um, the difference between like selling beans and selling corn like they're two different things or um, having to keep track of all the different expenses that you just you wouldn't think about noting so I don't know that just kind of blows my mind it's a lot of little details it's very meticulous Cole and I have been working on this for about two and a half hours now. So what happened is normally I use the black computer here for all of my bookwork stuff for the farm. But this little guy decided to give me some RAM issues and I don't really have time to order RAM because I got bankers coming this week. So we had to flip everything onto my editing computer. Therefore, Neva and I had to re-input all the data. I will admit, Neva really helped keep me sane. I was starting to get a little grumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neva's really pretty, isn't she? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Don't know what she sees in me, but I'll take it. I am missing one month's worth of stuff right now. It just came in the mail today. So I'm going to run down to Daddy Cornstar's house real quick. I'm going to pick that up and then we're going to get that stuff finished. And then we'll be ready for the meeting with the bankers. We can talk more about the importance of money on the farm down the road here, but I need to go get those papers. We're here. Hi guys, mom says she wants to go to the movie tonight, Mr. Rogers. How's it going in here? Good. You see, start digging out figures and getting on the computer to try to keep match numbers and just, ah, I don't like being stuck in the house. Is this your favorite thing to do on the farm? No, this is probably my worst favorite thing. I was just sitting here thinking as I was uh, working on some of the paperwork here and stuff. Right now there's been a lot of flu sickness going around in our areas over here we want to try to remember we need to think about like washing our hands keeping them clean i don't know how many times i've been in the bathroom at a public place and it it just amazes me i'll see guys turn on the water and they take their hand and the 
water squirting right down. They take their hands and they rub it five inches from both sides like they're washing their hands. Now really guys, you just went to the bathroom. Do you think running water that's not touching your hands is gonna do any good? I don't know. But anyhow, we wanna thank safety on keeping clean. Good sleep, we need good sleep. My uh, stepdad is actually in the hospital right now with flu and uh, ammonia. So we went up and seen him last night. So we're hoping everything goes really good and get him back home. It's just something that uh, we got to think about. And if we're not feeling good and we feel like crap, we should stay at home. Not running around to the public places, going to restaurants and eating and stuff, spreading the bug. It's just we want to keep everybody healthy. And I know sometimes we never know where or what. I've seen so many people lately Oh, I got I got sick and I was around so and so and I know it had to be from them. Just want you guys to think healthy and uh Heinz ketchup is probably one of the better items to drink and eat when you're winter time to try to help fight off illness. Heinz ketchup is one of the best medicines a guy can I know. Look at me. I I use Heinz ketchup probably every day, so just remember that when you go to the store, Heinz Ketchup, throw them other bottles out. So now that everyone's caught up with what I've been doing lately, this is the end of the video. So if you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you forgot to do it earlier. Write a comment down below if you have any questions at all. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.